Welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you. So here is the first uh, problem. Blank space, you have to choose the correct expression. Describes an allele combination in which the heterozygous phenotype distinct from and is not an intermediate between those of the two homozygotes. For example, uh, capital A, capital B blood type both alleles are equally expressed and here is the four answers to choose from the first answer complete dominance answer b codominance answer c incomplete dominance and answer d epistasis so what we have when we have complete dominance uh, for example we have plant with red flowers and we cross with another plant with uh, white flowers Usually any pigment would be dominant to the white because white is not a pigment, this is absence of pigment. And usually this is just a mutated pigment. If uh, normal color is red, then mutated pigment that doesn't produce uh, normal red pigment would, be, would appear for us, would be perceived by us as white color. And if normal color, for example, would be blue, also mutated, um, this uh, allele would become white. So almost uh, in all cases when we have mutated uh, allele for the normal color, this would turn out to be uh, white or absence of color. So if we have example with simple dominance, if we cross these two plants, uh, all the resulting progeny uh, would have uh, flowers with uh, red pigment or red flowers. If we have uh, codominance, uh, we would have, for example, the same flower with red pigment. We cross with another flower with uh, absence of any pigment. But uh, result would be different. This time we would have uh, plant all the progeny with um, patches of white color and patches of red color. So uh, we would have uh, some spots that is pure red and some spots that is pure white. And um, if we have another example of the incomplete dominance, once again, when we cross um, plant with red flowers, with another plant with white flowers, the resulting progeny would be uh, progeny when we would have all the uh, plants with uh, flowers of the intermediate color between these uh, two. So between red and white, this is going to be pink. And for example, if uh, color would be blue and white, so we also would have uh, intermediate color, um, something like pale blue. So why uh, in some cases when we cross uh, two uh, parents that is red and white, we get all the progeny that is red. And in the same example, we have all the progeny of the intermediate color. And the explanation would be that uh, in some plants, uh, some plants can achieve overexpression of the red pigment. Even if one allele would be damaged, but the other allele would be overexpressed and uh, this would result in normal color uh, of the plant. Because uh, in many cases, color of the uh, flowers are very important in order, for example, to attract pollinators. And in this example, uh, in resulting progeny, one allele would be normal, another would be uh, damaged and wouldn't produce pigment, and color would be intermediate be because uh, there wouldn't be overexpression of one normal allele. So the color would be intermediate. Now, if we return to our problem, we are told that um, 
heterozygous genotype shouldn't be intermediate. So uh, that means that uh, intermediate genotype where we see expression of both uh, alleles. So we would have uh, red and white patches of uh, pure color, pure red and pure white. This is going to be codominance and this is answer B. And if you're interested, uh, I can show you um, simple Punnett square. For example, genotype of both parents would be heterozygous, so capital A, small a. So one allele would be dominant, another one would be recessive. And if uh, we have codominance, uh, each parent would have patches of red color and white color. So I would use two colors in order to designate them. And when we build the Punnett square, we can predict what is the genotypes and phenotypes we can find in their progeny. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. So when we have two normal alleles that produce uh, red pigment, we would have plants with um, red flowers. When we have a homozygous recessive genotype, we would have plants with uh, white flowers and heterozygotes, just like their parents, would be of the distinctive uh, phenotype and would have uh, patches where red pigment is present and patches where red pigment is absent. And uh, epistasis, the last uh, answer, this is just example when uh, one gene can uh, regulate expression of other genes. So may uh, affect the color, uh, for example, if we would uh, use the same example, even if it is not an allele that um, uh, produce pigment or involved uh, directly in pigment production. But presence or absence of this allele may affect uh, any of the genes involved in this uh, biological pathway and may affect uh, production of the pigment. And the next um, question, a man who is homozygous for type uh, A blood has a child with a woman who is uh, homozygous for the type B, what is the probability that this child will have type AB blood? And once again, for answers to choose from, so what we know, we know that a uh, man homozygous for blood type A, and we know that female is homozygous for blood type B. So uh, what is the probability that the child would be AB blood type? And we have three alleles in the ABO blood group system. These alleles are allele A, B, and O. So uh, we can uh, get following combinations. We can get, uh, in diploid organisms, we can get combination allele A and A, allele A and O. These two genotypes would produce um, one phenotype that we call blood group A. Another two variants can be capital B and capital B allele and capital B and O allele. And these two genotypes would produce one phenotype that we call blood group B. And uh, also we may have uh, allele A and B. And this time um, we have blood group that is A, B. And the last variant would be when we would have uh, two O alleles and this uh, genotype would produce phenotypes that we call blood group O. So as you see, one, two, three, four, five, six genotypes produce one, two, three, four phenotypes. 
So if we are told that uh, uh, father or man belongs to the blood group A and he is homozygous, so this is his genotype, and if we know that mother or female belongs to the blood group B and she is homozygous too, I even don't have to uh, draw a Punnett square because you know that uh, such a cross would result in 100% of the progeny that is going to be blood group AB. So the correct answer would be answer D. 100% of the progeny would belong to the blood group AB. And I also want to mention that uh, in this example uh, alleles A and B are codominant. So as you see uh, in the blood group AB we do not uh, have a phenotype A or B, we have phenotype AB because uh, both alleles would be expressed, just like in this ex example. But allele O would be uh, recessive to both allele A and B, so blood group, uh, for example, A that consists of uh, two genotypes uh, and genotype AO doesn't make a uh, different phenotype. This is the same uh, phenotype as genotype AA, and the same true for genotype B or it doesn't make a different blood group, it is the same blood group B because uh, allele O is recessive to the uh, allele B. So allele B would be dominant to allele O and allele A would be dominant to allele O. So in this example, we have uh, co-dominance and also we have a simple dominance when allele A and B would be uh, dominant to allele O. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.